Wanted to welcome everybody out to Clisson New State Park. I'm the park superintendent, Eric Surratt, and I help uh, manage this area as well as look after the natural and cultural resources of the park. Hello, welcome. Thanks for coming out to Cliffs the New State Park, even if you are here virtually. I'm Ranger Autumn. I think that now is a very important time um, to be going outside and exploring. There's a, not a whole lot that's open full capacity to do inside. Um, so now is a great time to get outside, do your nature exploring. We've got about 1,050 acres here, and we've got a 90-foot cliff overlooking the Noose River. So I wanted you all to come out and let's explore. There's a lot of variety in what we do. So one day we might be doing park operations, so meaning we'll be running the swim lake, um, working in the campground, helping maintain some trails. The next day we might be doing a prescribed burn, and the next day we could be doing an education program for a field trip. Um, this is a great area to bring out your kids to enjoy the park. It's family friendly, and then there's a lot of activities that's offered. Uh, swimming is a big thing here. A lot of people like to come out, swim, uh, boat, hiking. We've got five miles of trail, and then we've got uh, 34 campsites that you can come out and enjoy. That's a great uh, family activity that you can bring out roast s'mores over a fire and just sit back and enjoy nature. Right now you're looking at the cliff face. It's 90 feet above the Noose River and the Noose River is 275 miles long. Um, the, the sediment layers are mainly three different types of sand, silt, and clay. As you can look down it almost looks like a rainbow of color. See the difference in the uh, water color? The, uh, it's Mill Creek and Steel Creek. Steel Creek has got a lot of iron content in it, so therefore you're gonna get a lot more uh, red or orange in color. We've got a visitor center with a lot of interactive exhibits um, that are both fun and educational. Located throughout the park, we have a lot of park history, um, local and within the park. Um, the park itself used to be a meeting ground for Native Americans and different tribes in the area. And here we have a display that describes a little bit about the way of life back then. Uh, this display um, located beside me, this is uh, about the American Civil War. And this happened down in the local town of Seven Springs. That was the Battle of Whitehall on December 15th and 16th of 1862. And then also we have some of the relics that come off of the CSS Noose, which was a ship that was built down in Seven Springs. The display located behind me is uh, Seven Springs and it's mainly about our uh, mineral water. Um, it was famous for curing whatever ails you. Um, so a lot of people would come from all over the country to experience and drink some of the uh, mineral drinking water, which are springs, freshwater springs that bubble up out of the ground. And this is a good example of the Seven Springs mineral water bottles. Um, this is a very rare bottle. A lot of them didn't survive over the years. They have gotten broken or just thrown away. But this is a good example of what they look like. And you can see it's got Seven Springs and then Goldsboro, North Carolina, even though it was in Seven Springs, which is a little further away. And the display located behind me, this pretty much tells you the history of uh, Cliffs of the New State Park. The park was formed in 1945. And then as you can see, different years they added on to the park. Um, the visitor center, which we're in now, it was built in 2010, and then it was open to the public in 2011. Out at Cliffs of the New State Park, we have a lot of the old naval store trees, which you can see throughout the park. Um, they would pretty much harvest um, your sap, resin, um, within the park, and then they would use it for a variety of different things, like medicine, shipbuilding, um, but it was very profitable industry back in the early 1900s. That's what we call a cat face tree. Um, they would use these to, to cut and scar, and then the sap and resin would uh, drip down. They would collect it. That's, they would use that for all kinds of purposes, medicine, uh, sealer for uh, ships. But it was normally longleaf pine that they used. It can be anywhere from the 1800s right on up till 1900s. That's the same thing, it's just grown up. That tree survived, the other one didn't. I'd highly encourage everybody to get out and enjoy Cliffs of the New State Park. It's a great place to recreate, enjoy nature, and just be out in the natural setting. Take a Kid Outside week is coming up at the end of September. 
We have a lot of programs going on at the park. Um, if you're not looking for a group activity, it's a great excuse just to get your kid um, outdoors. And you don't necessarily need to be at the park to do that. Um, your backyard is a great learning opportunity. You'll be surprised if you find just a hula hoop, lay it on the ground and look at the grass there and you will find teams and teams of bugs and uh, insects, worms, just within that hula hoop. So you can nature explore anywhere. Thank you all for coming out to explore Cliffs of the New State Park. If you want to check us out on our website, please look us up at ncparks.gov and look at Cliffs of the New State Park. Thank you.